start with after Sergio makes his introduction. But as you know, Sergio is, is an architect. Sergio Paleroni is the co-founder and director of the BASIC Initiative. He's a professor. He's actually from Portland. Sorry, he's from Portland, Oregon. He's a professor and fellow at the New Center of Sustain for Sustainable Processes and Practices at Portland State. He's also been a professor in Texas and Washington, where he co-founded the BASIC Initiative to support service learning work that they were doing with students in Mexico and Central America. So I know you guys are all familiar with what service learning is, you know, giving community service and really looking at school as a way to serve your fellow students and community. So Sergio, if you wouldn't mind now giving us a brief introduction of who you are, about what the BASIC initiative is, and your role in, in um, the challenge, and then we'll get started with the dialogue. This is very exciting. We've, we've never had an architect on before, so this is a new thing. And welcome, Sergio, and take it away. Thank you. Wow. Okay. Um, well, nice to meet you all. Um, I, I, I've been to both places, and I know the temperature is quite different. I, my work is actually... Um, I probably would get you in a couple of years, and you'd be my slaves. Um, I work with university students, um, but I, I've included high school students from India, Nigeria, Mexico, uh, in my work at times. And uh, the real thing is just to take on the pro problems we're all facing and just be an activist about it. Just decide, you know, that things could be better. And so, and how do you take your education at school and you know, apply it. And not just your education at school, but your education you've had in life. So I actually, um, I actually try to get students to begin to think of their education as a kind of tool and their ex life experience as a kind of tool, which gives them a kind of insight into um, the world and, uh, and into how the world could change. And, uh, and I think we're all like experts. You know, we're all experts at life in some way, even if we're young. And so I take that knowledge and then we take on projects. And we've done about hundreds distinct now programs throughout the world in the last 20 some years. And some have been everywhere from Northern Africa to squatter communities in Mexico to, to Southern India. Everywhere you've been in the world, we probably have been. And, uh, and we've done everything from schools. We started out with schools. So it's, I love this program. And then we've been on to, um, we've moved on to doing like uh, clinics because we followed all the problems. You know, we do schools and then the mothers and parents would go, you know, well, that's great. Now we have good schools in the squatter community, but our kids are sick. Can you help us out there? So problems grow and people then, as they become aware they can make change, they ask us for other kinds of solutions. Can we solve the problem with waste and where the poop goes after it comes out of our houses, you know, and it's polluting our rivers. And, uh, and we build waste treatment plants all over the world. We've done, um, yeah, so we said clinics and we've done community centers, we've done daycare centers, we have built housing programs for people to build their own homes in the deserts of Mexico and Africa. So, and in every place we go out there and just we, I challenge the students and say, okay, here's a problem. You're going to have to fin find a solution with the community. Neither you nor the community knows anything more. We all, you both need each other. And the knowledge and solution will come out of some kind of discussion you're going to have with the community and with your fellow colleagues. And you're all like, there's no individual genius. I mean, we all think of architects as these kind of genius figures, you know, because we always make monuments out of each one. But they're usually about a hundred different people underneath them all holding them up and helping them come up with a solution. And half of those are really good clients and good people in the community have opinions and have experiences of a good clinic or a good school or a place that makes safe sanctuary in a place of war, which sometimes we work in. So I believe that life experience plays an important role. Now, my two main guiding principles are one, that um, we are out to find environmental and cultural sustainability. So we're out to help communities achieve sustainability with their environment, like an understanding of their environment where they just, they, they, you know, they will not pollute the environment, but also have a happy relationship with the environment, which is productive. And then that out of this project, whatever you're doing, 
will come a stronger community, whether it's a community of students or a community of women working or whatever it is. And the whole community will benefit from that because in a sense what I'm trying to create is global citizens, like people who are know their rights and act on their knowledge and don't just sit back because we can't afford it. We have to be activists. Thank you so much, Sergio. We will um, be back with you in a moment. We really appreciate that. Uh, we are all trying to work on global citizenship, which is, I think, why we're here, which is a very important uh, place to start. I wanted to remind everyone, I know all of you are veterans to video conferencing, but I wanted to remind the schools to make sure that you...